three years ago I wrote that Walter Hoyle is in danger of being one of the forgotten great Bardfield artists due to the lack of information on him, and with the Fry Gallery hosting an exhibition of his work, it looked like that injustice would be corrected. But, as I record this, the world is still in lockdown, and it is unlikely that that Hoyle exhibition will be seen by many. Hoyle was born in Lancashire in 1922, and in 1938 he went to Beckenham School of Art. There he gained a place at the Royal College of Art in 1940-1942, pausing to fight in the World War and re-entering the college in 1947-48. One of his tutors in London was Edward Borden, who encouraged him to develop his watercolours and printmaking skills. Borden was commissioned by the Festival of Britain to produce a mural at the Lion and the Unicorn Pavilion. Hoyle was one of the students Borden asked to assist him. During the summer, they both holidayed together in Sicily, and Hoyle later used these memories to write the book To Sicily with Edward Borden. One of Hoyle's paintings from this trip would be bought by the Cambridge Pictures for School scheme. Encouraged by Edward Borden, Hoyle would move to Great Lodge Farm on the outskirts of Great Bardfield. He would get a reduced rate on his rent if he repaired his cottage. Here are some paintings he made from the farm. A transporter here, and the view from his cottage with typical Bardfield Victoriana on the windowsill. I love how he's painted the oil lamp with the transparent wires here. Oil's drawing was used for one of the catalogues of the Bardfield Open House exhibitions, and he took part in these exhibitions and met his wife Denise at one. Various illustration commissions would come from the BBC for their educational booklets, and more illustration work would come when Hoyle was asked to illustrate the BBC Book of the Countryside alongside John Nash and fellow Bardfield artist Sheila Robinson. Here you can see the illustration in colour is remarkably similar to this book. It's from the 1969 Women's Institute of Party Recipes. Hoyle was also asked to work for the post office on this poster, and he worked for Shell on posters. Here's one for Monmouth. After leaving Great Bardfield for Great Sailing, Hoyle then moved to Bottisham in Cambridge to be closer to the Cambridge School of Art where he worked. He was working at the St Barnabas Press and helped the art school gain a reputation for quality printmaking. While at Cambridge, Hoyle was able to make many prints of the university buildings. Here is a print of the Senate House. It looks like a board in the building with the liner cut, but the background is almost Michael Rothenstein with an anything goes attitude. It's an interesting combination of both Bardfield artists' styles. Hoyle retired from teaching in 1985, moving from Cambridge to Hastings to be closer to his holiday home in Dieppe. 